do you know your configuration? What do I mean by that? Well, configuration as self-identification, yourself, you know, who are you, right? Because not one being is the same, although we are the same of consciousness and energy, right? This energy has split itself in infinite ways, and due to that infinite ways, that means they cannot be one of the same person. Even in twins, right? <laughs> They're still different. We see that. Yeah? It's quite it's quite dream it's quite genius on how you know these hints are left out for us to see it. A lot of hints all around. You just gotta look, you know. So when the baby is born, oftentimes the timing is very important because it gives you some type of identification on the being that is coming into the realm and who they are and what are their purposes, what are their strengths, what are their weaknesses. All of this information was easily and readily accessible to us and ready to use on the being when creating, you know. But this art has been lost to us, like so many other things. But not all is lost, right? People find information and upload it here and upload it there and share it here and share it there and speak here and speak there. And then that information starts to spread its wings and take flight throughout the four corners of the world. Quite amazing. But it requires a keen mind to decipher the information on, you know, what is actually real and what is not. But of course, what is real and what isn't lies on the viewer, on the beholder. Yeah? Up to you. Nevertheless, once we know this configuration, we can then set our path on raising this being to be exactly just as such, you know, providing them the tools that are necessary to know thyself. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. And certain, you know, different ancestries of backgrounds, there are different arts of these things that are still here and that are still being used. One of the most popular ones that are here in the Western world is astrology. Yeah. Astrology is very, very powerful, you know. It's quite beautiful. Even from the old of old ages. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but with no light pollution, of course, you look up and you see it the universe, you see a reflective, you see it all up in the skies. We don't have easily access to this. Some people can travel, some people do have easy access to this, but majority of the population do not have access to the skies anymore. But somebody, you know, one of us, one of yous, one of me's, thought to produce books and data and collect more data and more data and now we upload this data and now it's on the internet readily available for us to use, you know, just check it out and see what it has to say about yourself, whether it be true or not. Indeed, it would be a, a general of information, of course, but of course, when you dig deeper and down, you'll see that you are individually you and that there is only just you, you know. From the positions of the stars, the moons, the planes, the planets, the earth, the rotations, all of this is a contribute to your being. And for instance, we can do me. I am March 31st. That will put me in the house of Aries, house of fire. And so I have a particular configuration with Aries, but then now you have to go deeper within the house of Aries. What day did this fall in? This is a Thursday, you know. What time? This is in the morning, 3.43 a.m. Yeah. Okay. 
now that we got the time in the day, what is the name of this being, right? Because the name also reveals more information about one. Yeah, hmm. it's quite fascinating. Yeah, names or numbers, numbers, names, numbers, math. <laughs> you start to see the correlation to things now. You know, this is more art than human. It adds up. Math, baby. Math. It's beautiful. Beautiful. But with these numbers, there are like barcodes. That just came to me. Yes. Unique identifications. Barcodes. These numbers are. You know? Quite interesting. The first name and then the last name. You know? And then it goes ahead and reveals your life path numbers. You know, quite fascinating. It is quite interesting. And then there are more information underneath the life path numbers. Yeah, which brings you more and more and more information. So of course, the more you know about yourself, the more you know how to control the body and provide it what it needs. Hell, you could be sitting in some job that is not for you, right? Your sign can be saying that you are a free person, you are an entrepreneur, you cannot do schedules, but yet you're sitting at an office job, miserable, depriving the body, depriving the body, making it very difficult in its current experience, right? Because there are multiple experiences, reincarnation. Right? This is not your first time. This is not your first go around. Yeah. But you have to know the avatar's configuration in order to truly succeed. You know? That's what it's like to be a god. That's what you are. Right? You create this structure that's called Earth. Right? With vibrations and energy and frequency essentially, and we see what we see around us now, and it's all meant for us to experience, to conquer, to enjoy, to be saddened, to be afraid, <laughs> it's a superhero story, Heru, as they say in Kemet, this is why we like stories, you know, they're very powerful, <laughs> there's something in the stories, yeah. Metaphorically, literally, right? Either or, no. There is true wisdom in these stories, whether you believe them or not. Hence why you don't toss them out. Hence why you don't toss these books out. Even if you come into the so-called truth. Because there is no truth only to what you deem to be true. Right? Hmm. But... Besides your birthdays and your signs, you also have your family members and your friends to also give you a sort of indications on your configuration. Yeah? You have these particular beings in your unit cell for a reason. Yeah? Learn from them. There is a lesson to be taught. There is a lesson to be learned. You can definitely learn from them, man. You know? It's crazy. I come from a big family myself. There's nine of us. <laughs> nine of us, man. And they all beautiful. All of them. Brilliant. Individually and uniquely. And I love to talk to them. And I love to see what they think and what they hear and what they see. Whenever we have an opportunity to chat. You know, because again, this is another version of myself that I won't be experiencing. But I can see it. I can witness it. I can go up and ask questions about its experience that I never had experience of. It's a beautiful thing, you know. And we lost contact of that. We lost track of that. That's why we run in a community, right? That's why we're never individual. We rely and we need each other, you know. But, yeah. Anywho. If you're looking for means to 
you know, figure out your configurations. These things that I mentioned, you can definitely use them. They're very popular currently now in the world, you know. Astrology, numerology. These are, you know, by the way, divinations, if you didn't know, right? The arts of knowing or seeing into the future, into the past, or the current present moment now as we are. Powerful divinations, you know. I myself like to do mirror work, you know. I like to work with a black mirror. Um, also candles, yeah. These are like a particular skyrim, yeah, of uh, arts. I do multiple ones, but of course one of my favorite ones is simply and easily meditation, you know. When you go within you have the opportunity to learn so much about you. But are you willing to be committed to the time and effort to know? We put so much time and effort into all the bullshit around. You know, all the distractions. Starve it. Starve your distractions. And feed. <laughs> feed what motivates you. Feed your focus. And you will see a big difference in your unique individual life that we are sharing on this plane with eight to nine billion other beings on this particular plane. Of course, there are multiple other planes stack upon each other from a difference of frequency, but on the one that we are mm, observing and experiencing now, Enjoy each other. Learn about yourself. Go within. And find out and bring out the configuration of your avatar. So that you can best use it to its full potential and ability. And create like the God that you are. Peace. Deuce. Yo.